Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Salesforce with Megan. For those that are new here, I talk about everything Salesforce, tech, and career growth. So if those topics are interesting to you, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I put out weekly videos. And, and for today's video, we're going to be bringing in a special guest. His name is Alvaro. Him and I started working together in the same consulting firm, and I've just absolutely been always inspired by him in many different ways, whether that be work-related or his own personal journey. So without further ado, I'm going to have him introduce himself, and we'll just go ahead and get right into to the interview. Enjoy. Today we have our featured guest. He is somebody very important to me. Him and I worked at Torin Consulting together. We both started as business analysts, so we had a lot of the same issues and questions come up. So he was definitely my backbone. So it is my absolute pleasure to be able to have Alvaro on the show today. And without further ado, I'll stop doing the talking and let Alvaro introduce himself. So just go ahead and walk us through, you know, who you are, what your role is, and how you started with Salesforce. Yeah, thank you, Megan. Uh, my name is Alvaro, and um, I am from Guatemala. Now I'm currently working at Torin Consulting, and it has been a changed life for me. To, to get started with, with Salesforce. Um, talking about a little bit about my story, I think I was one of which member of the family that uh, it, it was very difficult for us because we don't have uh, our parents passed away, um, my mom and my dad, and then the other two brothers. So it was very complicated for us to, um, first of all, continue to study and and find a job. It was very difficult to to even find food, but you know, there is, if you find opportunities, you move the next uh, step of your future. So that has been changed my life. First of all, learning other language. Now I know three language, which is the Mayan language called Kexiquel in Spanish and then English. It has been very difficult, but uh, you can just learning and proceed with your your goal. So that's what I did. After that, I found which a uh, nonprofit program which they helped me to continue of studying and was learning English as well. And after that, well, I heard about Salesforce at some point, and I started to do just dig in and be curious about um, that platform does and to where I am not now that I, I know how the platform works and I know that there is a lot more to learn there because Salesforce is is huge and every day I feel like I'm learning something. I just encourage you everyone to to just be curious. Thank you so much for sharing that. I think it's really important that our viewers understand that Salesforce is a lot more than plays the eye and the true impact that Salesforce can have is fully unspeakable. And that's why stories like Alvaro should be shared, not just his, but so many people in other countries in which Salesforce was never accessible. And now it is, and it's a platform that people can learn and ultimately grow off of and completely change their life from having maybe not much to at least having something and an opportunity to learn. One book I read one time was talking about this man was living in poverty and he was offered a million dollars or a hundred books. And he took the hundred books because at the end of the day, that knowledge was more power for him. It was curiosity. He could start his own computer science program. He could get into school, he could study, he could deliver a better life for his daughter. He was a father at the time. And I think that sometimes people don't understand that knowledge truly is power. And I think Salesforce professionals that love learning, just like Alvaro said, they're hungry for that. And you're gonna hear this so many times that with learning, the opportunities grow even more from those. And there's a lot more personal satisfaction. So out of it, one other question, when you first started, what were some of the resources that were helpful to you to learn Salesforce? Specific resource was Trahat. Um, I just, the way that is set up, like for example, when you finish the badges, you get points and then you move to another page and as well as you're getting like ranges. I, I just like to do that, which the, the highest ranges of Trahat. Nice. <laughs> I know a lot of people really like getting the ranger status. That's really cool. So it sounds like when you started, were you also balancing school at the same time while learning? How was that for you? 
when having work school together is, is very difficult and you, so you have to manage your time sometimes you learn sales pros from at work and then you learn stuff at school so you, which at the day you don't learn anything from both so it's just um just taking the time to to learn from related to Salesforce and then taking the time to learn what you have at school so so that it grows all together at the same time. The question I had for you was when it came to technology and Salesforce and technology in general being introduced to where you live, what impact have you seen that have on other people that were in the same situation as you? How has that transformed their life? What stories have you heard from other people? Yeah, so as, as you mentioned previously, like women's, they don't have a lot of opportunities because of the culture, for example. And we, like we know that every person, they, they are free to learn any related to about technology, about job. And I have seen a lot of changes in my community. Going back to 2010, 2014, I think where I live, it was very poverty place. And right now you can see that it has been developed because of which parents which they encourage their kids kids to go to school right now and learn about technologies, learn about other languages so that they can have a better future. Yeah, exactly. One thing that I think Alvaro mentioned in his previous question was that, you know, people in Guatemala, for example, that are learning Salesforce, he, Alvaro doesn't speak three languages. He speaks four languages. Let's put that out there. <laughs> he speaks Salesforce. Salesforce is not easy to learn. So I think that, Alvaro lives as a shining example of how Salesforce number one transforms your life, of course. But number two, you know, he works full time. He's in school full time. He's managing everything that he's managing at home. He's taking care of his brothers. And I think that, you know, Alvaro is a shining example of who we should all aspire to be. And I am so grateful for you to be on this channel for that reason, to be able to share your experiences. With that, I really hope that everybody has enjoyed this interview and I will leave Alvaro's LinkedIn and any other further information for you to contact him. He's a great resource to have. He is great for people starting Salesforce, those looking to transition, those who are younger and just wherever you are in this world, you know, you have resources available to you and you're not alone in your journey. So again, everybody, thank you so much for coming. Alvaro, again, thank you so much for being a part of this blog. It means the world to me. And we will see everybody in the next episode. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Right. <laughs>